It was a cold and stormy winter. Ready to cut the cables? I'm John P. Everything you need to know about wireless charging your mobile devices on today's episode of Geek. This episode of Geek Meat is brought to you by Audible. Would you like some electricity with your latte? Starbucks is adding wireless charging to its tables in Silicon Valley following a test run in Boston. You'll be able to juice up your mobile devices while downing some caffeine, provided your device matches the system they've chosen, which of course is not the system currently on most mobile devices. Once again, consumers are in the crosshairs of a standards battle, so here's everything you need to know about cutting the cables and charging your mobile devices without wires. If you have a device that already supports wireless charging like the Nexus 7 tablet, HTC Droid DNA, Samsung Galaxy S4, Nokia's Lumia 928, or Google's Nexus 4, it's probably running the Wireless Power Consortium's Qi inductive power system. It's spelled QI, which is Chinese for energy. The Qi open source consortium has been around since 2008 and is supported by the Verizon network and a who's who of American, European, and Asian manufacturers such as HTC, Huawei, LG, Motorola, Nokia, Samsung, and Sony. That's enough market share to convince Delphi who designs in-dash infotainment systems for General Motors, to begin offering Qi wireless charging as a feature in some upcoming car models. Which brings us back to Starbucks, who chose a competing wireless charging system, Power 2.0, from something called the Power Matters Alliance, whose members include, not surprisingly, Starbucks, as well as Duracell, PowerMat Technologies, AT&T, and Google. For the moment, you'll need to buy a sleeve for your device to use those wireless chargers, since Power 2.0 charging technology has yet to be baked into many devices. But with AT&T recently signing on to Power 2.0 as its preferred wireless charging system, remember rival Verizon chose Qi, that that could change. Of course, when I think about Qi, I really think of inner peace, which is what I get when I listen to Audible audiobooks, especially while I'm traveling. Here in Texas, we aren't so lucky to be able to just hop on a subway, so we have to drive everywhere. So the only good way to catch up on a book is to listen to it. I have to tell you, although I keep trying to find other great ones, the best audiobooks I've ever heard are the Lord of the Rings trilogy. If you head over to audiblepodcast.com forward slash geekbeat, you can get a free book with your new subscription and search for the Lord of the Rings trilogy narrated by Rob Inglis. He's amazing. And if you guys have other audiobooks that you think can compete with Lord of the Rings or like Harry Potter, just let me know because I'm dying to find some good ones for my travel time. Back to the wireless charging sleeves. So for iOS users, the only option for wireless charging is the Power 2.0 standard, until Apple, which holds a patent on yet another wireless charging system, adds that as a feature to say the iPhone 8. Of course, I literally can't even find a single Power 2.0 charger anywhere online. So if you know of one, tweet it at me. Of course, the other option is to get a wireless charger that fits on your keychain. For $25, you could buy a Juice Buddy with prongs that snap out to plug into a wall outlet and a USB 2.0 outlet that will charge most devices. Or a $30 key, which allows you to funnel power from your iOS's laptop lightning port. It's $20 for a 30 pin to USB. Another option is to carry reserve power in the form of a cigarette lighter sized Mophie juice pack which just runs about 35 to 40 bucks, depending on which device you carry. And finally, you could always soak up the sun with a Goal Zero Nomad 7 or Guide 10 portable solar array. Just lay it in the sun with your cell phone plugged into it to charge it in a couple of hours, or charge up a rechargeable battery and then use that to power your mobile device. Well, I hope you got a charge out of this episode. See what I did there? That was great. If you got a favorite charging solution I didn't mention, feel free to share it with your fellow geeks in our G Plus Geeks community. I'm John P. Thanks so much for joining us today for a charged topic. You know, Dave, it's quite stimulating. Electrifying. Yeah, electrifying even. It's positively enlightening, don't you think? Okay, go. Say goodbye. Oh, okay. Bye, guys. I mean, it's like two whole sentences. Yeah, no.
have to edit anyway, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> You're nothing but one big... Edit. For the moment... Oh, no, we need to go ahead and go back up to the top. Really? So I don't have to edit it. Whatever. <laughs> F you, Dave. <laughs>